hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without wasting time let's get into photoshop all right so now this is my photoshop and i'm going to press ctrl plus n to create my designing background so i'm going to use a5 paper size here then come over here you change it to inches then leave your resolution at 300 for printing change it to cymk then for social media then you leave it at rgb color then you click on grids so here is our area of uh, design now so then the next thing i'm going to my test document and i'm going to copy the color code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color then and ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok so having done this one the next thing now is to import our background resources okay so now i'm going to my folder here now and i'm going to import this abstract background then I will drag it up, then you scale it a little. Okay. Then I'm going to change the color mode to soft light. Then go back to the next one. The next one I'm going to import this worship background here. And I'm going to drag it down around here. Then you scale it out a little, you know, you leave it. Okay. So after done this one now, then I'm going to select it, then go to my bloody mode and change it to overlay. It's okay like this. Then go back to your folder again, and I'm going to import this one. So I arrange this thing in order. Then drag this one up and position it around here. Then go back to your blending mode. I'm going to change it to add light something like this then I'm going to leave the opacity or you can reduce the opacity let me reduce the opacity then I'll leave the opacity at 50 49 for now so if there is any changes then I'm going to change it later then this worship, I will drag it down a little. All right. So after I done this, that one now, so the next thing I'm going to import now, and I'm going to import this one here. Then reduce the size this way. Then go to your blending mode, and I'm going to use screen. All right. By the time my test come over here now then it's going to cover this one all right so before we continue then i'm going to bring the other resources which is this one then scale it a little then i'm going to drag it up i'll leave it here then go back again and i'm going to i'm going to import this one later then for this one i'm going to import this one Then I'll drag it down. Then I'll leave it over there. Then this one, import it. So as you can see, all of this, I have made it more simple. Because all of them are blend. So it's very easy to operate now. Then I'll leave this one around here. Then also import this light. Then I'll drag it over here. Then go to your bloody mode and I'm going to change it to screen. To so something like this, select it. Apply your layer mask. Then select your gradient bloody tool. And I'm going to blend this way. Also this way, I'm going to blend it. All right. Then also import this one. Then I will drag it down. 
at this position scale it a little then go to your bloody mode and change it to screen then you can bring it down a little something like this then you leave it okay so after done this one the next thing i'm going to do now and i'm going to bring in my test and these are the fonts i'm going to use then i'm going to copy this test here Ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool or you press t then Ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your test tool and I'm going to change this font to font spring so I'm going to look for the one I'm using so the one I'm going to use is font spring Bevers new pro then select the one of of this board then I'm going to reduce the font size a little then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it Then bring it down a little. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go back to your test again. And I'm going to copy this color code here. Then select your font color, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then a light here, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you click on it. So this is the color I want. Then go back to your first test. Then I'm going to increase this one a little to match this one. All right. Then, as you can see, I zoom in to see to see it very clear. Okay. Then also, then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you bring it down around here. Select your test to Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then come over here and I'm going to copy my test here, Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then come over here and increase the character spacing. I'm going to leave it like this. I don't want it to be to be that small. Ctrl plus zero so that I can see the effects. Then go to your drop shadow. Then I'm going to apply a drop shadow. At least you can see it now. Then I'll click OK. Then copy the layer style. Then come over here. Then right click and apply it to this test here so you can see it now all right so then we move forward to the next then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and come around here the ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size then i'm using the same font then go back to your drop shadow then i'm going to increase the size a little then you click ok then zoom in your design then ctrl plus j to duplicate then I'm going to bring this one down. Then make sure they are aligned. 
Okay. Select your test to control plus A to alight. Then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C. Then control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to copy this font color here. Then select your fonts. Control plus V to paste. Then now I'm going to increase the size. Then I'm going to change these fonts. Go back to your font spring. Then I'm going to select the heavy one. Select the heavy regular. Now I'm going to select the two tests. Then I'll bring it down around the end. Then I'm going to change this font. The one I'm looking for, I have not seen it exactly. So let me search for it. Okay. Then I'm going to increase it. So you can see the differences now. Then, now I'm going to select the test. Then go back to your drop shadow. Then bring this one to zero. And I'm going to increase the size. Then reduce the motif and the opacity. Then increase the spread to around 13. Something like this. Then you click OK. Control plus zero to see how it look. OK. So now that we have this one like this, so the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to bring this one here. Then this is where I'm going to position it. Then change the blending mode to screen. So at least you can see the change there. Then I'm going to import this one. Then I'll posi position this one at the top here. Then change it to screen. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I will reduce this one. Then I'll bring it at this position. Then select these tests. I'm going to increase the size of these tests. Okay. Then bring this one close. Then reposition this one. And this one. Okay, so I'm looking for this one. Then what I'm trying to do now, I'm going to take the opacity back to 100%. Then this one, why I'm going to apply a layer mask. And I'm going to blend it. this way so having done this one now so then 
what we are going to do now then is to bring our image so i'm going to bring this image then bring it down here i'm going to reduce the size like this select your test hold your shift key then you select this one and i'm going to move this one up like this then i'll bring this one down Then I'm going to locate the design here. And I'm going to take it up here. You can use your arrow key. Then select your bubble light. Then you can move it up yeah then this shadow here is not enough so i'm going to increase the shadow by adjusting the distance then increase the opacity to 100 then i'm going to change this one to normal something like this okay then go back to your image i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to leave it this way then the next thing now i'm going to my test and i'm going to copy their names ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then remove remove the character spacing to 0% the control plus v to paste then change the font color to white then also i'm going to change the font to this font here This is not the font. Let me confirm. Okay, so here is the font Mega Demo. So I'm going to change the font. Here is the font Mega. Now I'm going to reduce the space there and reduce the font size. this 12 should be okay then reduce the space it's okay like this then i'll position it around here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and i'll bring this one over here then ctrl plus c to copy Select your test tool, Ctrl plus A to alight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Hold your Ctrl key, then while you drag it over here. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it, while I will go to my test tool, to my test document, and I'm going to copy the name. The control plus v to paste so we are done with this one now the next thing now i'm going to do 
then I'm going to copy the date and the time control plus C to copy then select your rent angle then I'm going to draw a rent angle over here this is will be okay then I'm going to change the color to red then I'm going to apply a corner shape it's okay then zoom in so that you can see it very well then I'm going to up draw another rent angle and I'm going to change this one to white then select the two rent angle apply vertical and horizontal alignment then apply drop shadow to this one then reduce the size and the distance so something like this then click ok then select your test tool or you press T then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to F Jala 1. Then you drag it here. Then change the font color to black. Increase the font size. Then select the test and the rent angle. Then I'm going to apply vertical and the horizontal alignment. So then select your test tool. Then I like this one. I'm going to change the font of this one to red. Then also I'm going to select this one and change the font color to red. Okay then this is what you will have so after this one so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going back to this background then select your rent angle then i'm going to draw a line here then i'll change the color to this orange or yellow color here then go back to your resource file and I'm going to, to bring in this location icon, then reduce the size. Then I'll bring it and position it around here for now. Then okay, double click on the smart object, then double click here. Then I'm going to change the color to this color overlay then what I want to make use is red then I'll click OK then you close it then apply yes so you can see the red now okay then go back to your test document and I'm going to copy the location select your test tool then control plus V to paste then open the space then increase the size then i'm going to use center alignment i'll position it around there then bring this one close then I'm going to select the time and the date here. Then use my arrow key, then I will drag it up here. Something like this. 
Now I'm going to group it, Ctrl plus G to group, then Ctrl plus A to alight, then I'm going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then also my location, then the location I'm going to group it, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. So these are the pastors, I'm going to group it together, then rename it, can rename it as either the guests. Then I'm going to select these ones. Then hold your control key while you select this one. Then I'm going to use my arrow key then to take it up here. Like this. Then uh, also, I'm going to take this one up. All right, so that is it. Now I'm going to group the background. Hold your shift key. Then Ctrl plus G to group. So this is my background. Here is my heading. And this one. So this is the light. Uh, sorry, lift up. So the last thing I'm going to do now is the lifting up. Okay. So then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, Ctrl T. Then I'll bring it here, then select your test to highlight it. Then you can type up. Then bring it over here. Then I'm going to position it. I'm going to position it. Here. Okay, so the next thing now, I'm going to change the font uh, color to white. As you can see, here. then I'm going to zoom in. Then draw a rectangle. Then I'm going to take this rectangle shape from here. Like this. Then change the color to red. Then apply your layer mask. Then I'm going to blend here. Something like this. Then bring a triangle. Something like this. Then you bring it over here. Now I'm going to click here to make sure that it is aligned together. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. So something like this. So on that triangle now, I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then reduce the spread and the size then it's okay like this then control plus zero then to see the outcome of it so something like this all right so we are done with with the design and I would say thank you so much for following. Please, if you are not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any time I'm going to upload another video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Then this light here. Okay, it's in a good position. It's at the top of it.
then this one i'm going to select this this one here and the design that flow it use my arrow key then to bring it down a little okay that is okay then this is the location and this is time and date so then you can also bring this light here if you want to apply any other light then you can apply but as for this tutorial i think it will be okay like this i don't want to put more lights on it so and on this one i'm going to drag it up here all right so that is all thank you so much and also remember that i have a fiber account so if you want to create a fiber account then you can check the link below and create a fiber account and also if you want to order any graphic design then you can check the link over there then and make any of your order thank you so much